All right, and we're back. And we're going to try this again. FTL, great game. I'm about to play it. Probably going to do some installments because, you know, this game, if I play it right, should take a while. This is the ship we'll be using, the Kestrel. It's the ship you start out with, but it's actually my favorite so far. It's got a good balance of firepower early on. And I like the airlock placement. And that's something I'll get to later. I think this ship is just, I don't like it at all. And this ship, I like better than the last ship, but not as much as the Kestrel. So I'm going to rename it. Because the Kestrel is just very generic, and I don't like generic. If you know me, I like to name my ships, I like customization. I take full advantage. Besides, it provides an attachment. So we're going to go with the, continue with the theme that I have for naming ships and games, which is I'm going to name it, after, name it vaguely after a song. So it's going to be the right to party. There we go. And also I have a, when I first played this, I didn't name any of my crewmen. And I had one of my best gunners ever, which is Gunner Nakimi. So now all of my gunners are named Nakimi. Can't have can't have a right to party without Nakimi on the guns. We'll name our captain Pickirk. Ha ha ha! Yes. And we'll name our our um female crewman Death. She is Steph. Let no one say otherwise. And because this game is ridiculously difficult, even on easy mode, I'm going to play on easy mode. But with the advanced edition content enabled, because I'll still be a little bit hardcore here. Anyway, so now that we've got that set up, start this thing off. And this is just the exposition. And an uh, arbitrary tip. So let's let's uh, power up our weapons because that's kind of important. I have a very interesting way for this to work. So store or distress? Well, distress store. We can't really go to the store yet. So let's do this thing. Hail them. Yeah, I'll trade with them. That was kind of boring. Go down here. More access points. In the first few areas, you want to explore more so you can get some better crap. I'm just going to attack this dude because we need to attack. And I'm going to pause because I need to sort some crap out. First of all, okay, everybody's in the spots they need to be in. Then I'm going to do a burst laser to the oxygen. And an Artemis missile to the weapon system. That ought to do it. At least for the early parts of the game, that's usually a pretty, pretty stand-up formula. Ha 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 ha! Oh, they, they shut my shields down. Well, it's too bad your missiles don't work. Um, we will not accept your surrender. We're just going to shoot these guys out with lasers. There's no point in wasting missiles on them. They're finite, so I won't waste missiles. You hear that? They're not worth the missiles. As is exemplified by the fact that you are now dead. Aha! This is what you get for fighting the Federation. Planning my route here. I have lots of fuel, so I can plan a pretty wide route. Offer my help. Yay! And a quest marker. Well, let's see where that quest marker is. Well. Can we get... Yeah, why not? Looks like we could probably swing it.
Yay, we successfully saved someone. We've got Jones. And Jones is going to be in the one place that we can't... He's, I mean, he's a rock person. I don't remember what their names really are. Jones, you have a strangely generic name for someone who's from another race. But you're going to be in the door controls because we need you there. And then we're going to jump to light speed. And we'll go to this this uh, conveniently under the location. Hmm. Try to be a hero. Yeah, yeah, they lock weapons. Okay, let's go to what we know works. Oh, they have drones. I'll have to have the beam weapons take care of that. Take care of that, and they can't shoot. Come on. Well, they sure tried. Hmm, now they're just freaking out. Reject the offer and continue the assault. And we'll blow their oxygen up next. They can't shoot at me, so there's really... That and they prioritize repairing the oxygen naturally because they kind of need that. Nope. <laughs> nope, you're not getting a chance to shoot me again. I'm doing surprisingly well. There's some wood I can knock on. Oh well. I tried to help them. I guess all I can do is jump to this quest beacon. That's definitely within acceptable parameters. Jump to the end of the location. What do we have here? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Sorry, Mantis bro. I know you just want to colonize and stuff, but I gotta blow your crap up. Because otherwise, it cause trouble for me. Can't have that. And we gotta conserve our missiles here. Oh, he actually did damage to me. No matter. We will just blow the oxygen up. And it's dead. Yay. All right. Let's go to the exit. We are exiting this dump. Sell five missiles for 15 scrap. Ignore the station because we can't afford to sell any missiles. One of our main weapons requires them. Sorry, bros. We know you like missiles. All right. Let's go to the pirate control area. I don't like uncharted nebulas. They're very dangerous. Now we're going to make sure they can't escape. No. No one will escape us this time. battle will command. And victory is ours yet again. Believe me, the fights will get a lot harder from once we start hitting the fifth system. Okay. Now do I want to upgrade? Let's upgrade the door so that fire doesn't spread. Fire is a major problem. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can jump there then. Oh boy. We're being assaulted. Fun. Look, boys. 
I know it's your piratey duty to do piratey things, but I'm about to blow you out of the skies. Or space in this case. I'll accept that offer. You've given me much food for thought, you could say. I'm also upgrading my security systems. I can now see what they're doing inside their own ship. Naturally. So, we have Pekirk, who is conveniently the captain and the pilot. I'm telling you, this may not seem safe, having these open, but it, allows, it gives you a quicker response time when dealing with large fires within the ship. Hostile sectors all the way through, huh? Oh, an abandoned sector. That means to check it out. I haven't had one of these before. Must be on my guard. Well, I always am. Well, this seems to be the only way to exit, so I'm gonna have to go that way. Limited amount of fuel, after all. I don't know why I'd want the translator. Oh, okay. Oh, cool! I hired a crewman. I've never heard, had this person on my ship before. I've never had one of these race, anyway. Translat? I guess you're translator. So I guess we'll, uh... Have you in the shield compartment doing stuff? That was weird, but slightly cool. Cancel, hold on. Kirk, why are you not healed? Get in the med bay here. I need you to heal. Why are you constantly hurting yourself, Kirk? It's beneath you. All right, Captain Kirk to the bridge. We will now make the jump to light speed. Straight into a distress beacon, that's probably a trap. It's a trap! And this is gonna be tough. <laughs> 